Good morning everyone. This is Ray from Hike A Lot again. I'm out in the field today and thought I would take the opportunity to shoot a quick video on impromptu hasty shelters out of your poncho. So let's uh, let's dive in. Okay guys, I'm going to use two different styles of poncho today while we're making these shelters. The first one's going to be this little small on you tarp poncho that I used during the tiny big kit video the other day. And then we're going to step it up to something a little larger. Uh, this little one tigress tense former and see we'll show you guys what the options look like with that okay guys now that i've unrolled my poncho uh, i'll show you one thing that i'm typically looking for when i buy a poncho i'm looking for one looking for one with some integrated tie out points this one happens to have grommets uh, the sewn-in webbing straps those work as well but i'm looking for something that i can use from a sheltering system perspective and when you look i keep a small hank of cord tied off on all of my ponchos keep it Keep it rolled up so that it stays out of the way when I'm using it as a poncho. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how I got this set up. So I got my paracord tied on the corner of my tarp here, and you'll notice I've got an overhand loop tied at the end of it, and we're going to use that in our shelter setup. Now, because this poncho is not large, I'm going to set this at relatively low, so this is going to be closer to, like, waist level, and I'm going to come around the tree. I'm going to take the tail end of my cordage, and come right through our overhand loop. Pulling it all the way through. And snug it up around the tree. I'm sure you guys can see here. So I'm just pulling it taut against here. Pulling it tight. I'll take the top side. I'm going to fold it over into a little bite. I'm going to push it back down beside the tree. I'm going to pull it back through this top loop that we have here. Let's make myself a slippery half hitch. So that's going to keep our end down here on the tree. So now that we have one corner of the poncho tied off to the tree, now it's important that we stake out the other diagonal corner. Uh, so that's going to be step one. Check, well, step two. Okay, so now that we have two sides tied out, uh, one on either end, one on each corner, now we can tie the two wings out. And so I'm going to start on this side, pull it out tight, stake it down, and then roll to the next side. This last side I'll take you guys around with me. Okay guys, and we got our last corner here. Put one mistake through, pull the thing out of the way, pull it back, peg it down nice and tight. Now the last step, we come here and make sure to tighten up the hook. Okay guys, this diamond sort of plow point configuration you look around you can tell there's plenty of room underneath there for me I'm six foot and this when I get in this leaves me about a foot in the foot and about a foot at the head okay guys for this next shelter configuration we're going to be using the one tigress tense former let me get out and show you what it looks like this is definitely one of my favorite ponchos I'm not a short guy at six foot and this comes down just above my the tops of my shoes so it has plenty of room I have a pack on in the back there's plenty of room to cover it up as well and still not uh, not get damp underneath full size hood pulls up and i like the fact that i have a zipper down the front and unzipping is going to be important for our shelter because we're going to actually set the shelter up with it open okay guys we're going to use our trekking pole as our opening that's going to be our our upper support I'm just going to drape the hood across the top of it. And from there, see how a little piece of cordage here. Let me get us all staked out to start with. Drape it through. Give us a little tension over here. Just get our first stake in the ground. And now we're going to go to the back side and start giving it some tension. First couple stakes on this are uh, a little bit delicate, but once you get those in the ground, it tightens up nicely. Oh, 
long as it's still standing, we're on, we're on the right track. And one corner, two corners, three corners. Come over here and get the back side. Coming over here now to get the back corner. Slide up, push the ground. That's my last little wing to do over here. Coming over now to do the last corner. So now structurally, we have everything up. You yeah, see there's plenty of room inside here. Now if I wanted to give, I want to give myself a little more room, I can take each sleeve. They have a tie out on there as well. Run my cordage back through here, pull it out, stake it out, and you can see much more headroom. So I have one of those options on either side. You guys get the idea of how this works. Now this shelter gives you plenty of room. I've slept in here on more than a few occasions. Stayed nice and dry and warm. Put my little fire out front. It's pretty much spot on. That is the one tiger's tense former. Okay guys, hopefully you found that beneficial and we've given you a couple nuggets that can keep you on the trail longer and happier and hiking away. And if you're out there on the trail right now watching this, just remember, left foot, right foot, repeat. We'll see you again soon.